Good afternoon and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be testing and reviewing Griot's Garage Fast Correcting Cream. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna be reviewing Griot's Garage's Fast Correcting Cream. Um, this is something that I have not used. I have not used any of Griot's Garage's line of polishes. Um, I have used Adam's polishes. I've heard some really good stuff about this and their boss, system which is their best of show system i've heard really really good things about this um, i'm excited for this and i can't wait to try it and it also says that you use it with a white fast correcting foam pad or microfiber pad and i do have a griot's garage white foam pad and this thing is like crazy stiff very coarse foam kind of shocked me um just like how firm this foam pad is. Uh, this is the five inch or 5.5 I believe. Sorry, I can't remember right now, um, but that is a foam pad I'm gonna be using with the fast correcting cream. Uh, we'll go over a few things that they say on it. It doesn't say a whole lot, but we'll go over them real quick. It says that it's packed with high loads of submicron abrasives. Our boss fast correcting cream makes quick work of correcting the most severe defects, adding depth and clarity to your paint and preparing it for perfecting or sealing. So that's what they say about it. Um, I'm like I said, I'm really excited to try this stuff. Uh, it says that it is body shop safe, uh, no silicones or fillers, easy dust free wipe off, longer buffing time, and then what I really like is right here. It gives you a recommended buffing speed of four to six. Um, I do like that they tell you and give you a recommended speed because sometimes you don't know what speed to use, and that can be a little bit challenging trying to find that perfect speed to work with whatever kind of polish you're using. The directions say, shake well, assess surface, then select appropriate pad. Thoroughly butter the full face of the pad. Working a two by two section at a time, spread product across the entire area. Using moderate pressure and slow arm speed, work product into surface for three to four passes. Remove residue with a clean microfiber towel, apply three to four drops of product to pad for subsequent sections. Frequently clean pad face with pad conditioning brush and or compressed air via a regulatory approved air nozzle. So those are the directions. That's what they say about it. Like I said, I can't say it enough. I am super excited to try this stuff out. Um, I'll show you the surface that we're working on. It's definitely got its work cut out with this paint. Um, it's going to show up really good because it is black paint. But let's go ahead, hop over here and check out this paint. So as you can see, I already have the hood taped off in half because we will be doing a half and half. We will show a comparison. Sometimes I don't like using tape because you will pick up the adhesive out of the tape into your pads, um, which can clog up your pads and it's not good, but we'll be okay. And I'm doing this for you guys so we can see a direct comparison between both surfaces once we get the one side done. Um, as you can tell, look at these water spots. If you've watched my previous videos, this has been washed and clayed. Um, this stuff is in the paint. I have a light here as well to show any scratches and defects. Um, it has a lot of swirls, a lot of scratches, and a lot of etched water spots into the clear coat. Um, you can see there's a lot of scratches right through here. So I am really curious how this stuff's going to work. We'll do a quick walk around of some of the spots that I've noticed that are pretty bad. Um, this was a big old door ding and scuff. Um, we'll see how it does with that. This is on the driver's door. Um, you can see it is definitely a big long one. Uh, we'll be trying that out. Of course, always around the door handles. All the scratches from fingernails, keys, whatever, reaching for the door handle to open it. And pretty much the whole surface is just the same as this. Lots of water spotting. Try to get a light maybe. Yep, there you go. Lots of water spotting, lots of scratches. On the trunk as well, lots of scratches. So this paint is definitely in really, really rough shape. Um, and I can't say it enough. I'm really, really curious and happy and excited to see how this Griot's Garage is going to work getting all of it corrected. Um, I have all of my plastic surfaces taped off because I don't want to hit it with the pad, with the buffer, and get that nasty residue on it. That's white, sometimes can be kind of hard to wipe off. I'm gonna go ahead and get you set up. We're gonna get to buffing on this side of the hood and see how this stuff works. Does it dust, does it not? How easy does it take off? All the good stuff we're gonna be checking out 
exactly how the fast correcting cream works and what I think of it. Okay, so this is the driver's side. We're gonna be doing it first. I do have my buffer, my polisher. I have it set on four because this is recommended speeds four to six with the white foam pad. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing buttered up. They say to shake this up really well. So you wanna get it shake up well, you wanna get everything mixed up. That is an important part when you're using any kind of chemicals is making sure that you have all of it mixed up, shook up really well. Um, that is going to make sure that you have it shook up and it's gonna work as they say it is and it's not gonna be separated out. One thing I will say is I do like these griots tops. <laughs> uh, here we go. Here you go, Fab Automotive Detailing. I hope you're watching this. <laughs> I've seen you do this before. Uh, I just uh, did the same thing. So first thing you wanna do is make sure that you, wow, get the seal off the top of this. And let me go ahead, put the cap back on and clean my hands up. Okay, so here we are, we're back. I got it off. Uh, one thing I will say, I do like the top on this and I like the idea of using it basically to butter your pad because that's kind of nice. You're not having to get your finger in there and rub all the compound into the pad. But the important part of buttering your pads is to make sure that you've got it covered. It's basically acting as a lubricant in the pad and you're not using a dry pad on your paint. So it is very important to get it buttered. Um, I have a really good feeling that I'm gonna have way too much on here once it's buttered, but we gotta get this pad buttered up and it'll start leveling out and then we can start adding to it as needed to get buffing. All right, so as you can see there, we've got the pad buttered up. I'll go ahead and shut that. Um, and I said I'm gonna be doing four on there. I'm actually gonna turn that down because I have quite a bit in there. And I will turn it up. I'm gonna go to one and I'll turn it up as I start working this product into the paint. I just don't want it to sling everywhere. So we'll start in the center here. I'm just gonna kind of rub it on, then I'll turn it on. I'm gonna mute the sound down a little bit so this isn't too loud and then you'll see me turn the speed of this up. So one thing I will say that it does have a very extreme long working time. I do like that a lot. We've done four passes on that. Uh, as you want to do when you're paint correcting, you want to do a cross hatch pattern. So side to side, up and down, or vice versa. You just a cross hatch pattern like that. So the working time on that is really, really nice. Um, I'm going to grab my microfiber. And I'm sure that this stuff's not ready to come off. So a great way of telling if this is ready to come off is a finger swipe test. As you can see, it's smeared, so it is not ready to come off. So we do not need the microfiber yet. I'm gonna go ahead, let this start setting up and get the rest of this hood done.
All right, so I went ahead and did the second half. We're gonna test this again. It is still streaky a little bit, which is totally fine with me um, because that means the working time of this, it gives you enough time to work the product, work it in, go ahead and do what you're doing because I've had products before they set up way too fast. As you're doing a paint correction, they are starting to set up and they're starting to dust. That's one reason why this stuff isn't dusting. I haven't even had it dust on me because of the working time is so long. We're not drying this product out, working it into the surface, correcting this paint. Um, I do like that a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just keep doing some more paint correction on this while this is setting up. Once this is set up, I'll bring you in. I'll show you the finger swipe test. We will get this all knocked off. What I'll probably do is wait for all of it to set up to see how hard this first one is to take off. And once the second section that we just did is set up as well and it is dry and we can remove it. So we'll see if there's a difference in how hard it is to take off of there. And I'm kind of curious about that. And then I want to see what this paint looks like underneath. So I'm going to go ahead, let this stuff cure up and then we'll come back and knock this off. Okay, here we are back. Might have took a little bit longer to uh, dry, cure, whatever you want to say. Um, some of you might bash me for it. I, th I know I did. I used a little too much product because I had the pad buttered and then I went ahead and put a few more drops on it for this side. Not a huge deal, just took a little bit longer for it to cure, for it to dry. Um, coming in and doing the finger swipe test, it is looking really good. It's looking like it's ready to come off. Um, so we'll go ahead, take my microfiber and we'll go ahead and wipe this stuff off. We'll see how easy it comes off. <laughs> and that wipes off very easy. I'm uh, really impressed with how easy this is wiping off. It's doing a great job. And this paint underneath of it, it's like a work of art that you're getting to see what, you, what your work has just done. Um, this is looking really, really nice. Of course, I will bring you guys in closer to show you. Um, it has a lot of gloss and a lot of depth to it. Oops. But it's looking really nice. Really no difference between the side that we did, well not the side, but the section that we did first um, compared to the second section that we did. Both extremely easy to wipe off. Super excited for this. I'm gonna pull this tape line off and as you guys can see, the reflection, this stuff, has done an extremely good job. So let me go ahead and get that tape line peeled off. I'll bring you guys in closer and we're gonna check this paint out. All right, like I promised you, I'll have to get that tape off so we can see the comparison of the before and after. Um, I always try to go for, you hear 90%, you hear 95% and I feel that I am at 95%. Um, there is a huge difference in it it's got a lot you can see these swirls it's kind of hard to see through all this water spots that is etched into it um all these this is not dust this is just rock chips little rock pits um but there is the 50 50 right there huge difference the stuff is really really easy to work with um one thing that i want to show you guys i've been experimenting with a little bit before i videoed this because i want to show a good true test but what this clear bra up front, you can see how this clear bra looks. It does have some water spots in it as well. Um, here is the clear bra compared to the paint that we just did. Um, this stuff is working on the clear bra. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a tape line on the clear bra and we're gonna go ahead and hit that with a fast correcting cream. I'm gonna show you guys how it works on the clear bra in case this is something that you run into or something that you're curious and wanna know about. Also, once we get done with that, I'm gonna to try to make this video not too long. The other thing I wanna tackle is on this driver's door is this huge door ding. Um, it's up here, it's scuffed really bad. I wanna show you guys buffing that, getting that buffed out as well. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and buff on this door too, on this huge scuff and door ding, um, see what it does there. From there, we will probably end the video. I will go ahead and get the rest of the car all paint corrected. Um, We'll get it looking really good and then I will get it outside in the sun and we will check this thing out. But let's go ahead first, let's hit this clear bra and then we'll do the door. I'm gonna set you up and let's check this out but you're gonna wanna see this on this clear bra. So we're gonna do the same side that we've done the hood. I went ahead and I've got my pad primed up. 
I'm just going to kind of smear this on here. I am using the same speed uh, that they recommend with the paint. So that is the speed that I'm doing for reference for you in case this is something that you will be doing yourself. And then just basically same as doing the paint. So the only thing I do a little bit different with this clear bra um, is I'm using a faster arm speed. I do not want heat to build up into this because it's like a, it is a vinyl, it's kind of rubbery filling. You don't want heat to build up in it. You don't want to warp it, distort it, uh, mess with the adhesive layer that is bonded to the paint and have it start lifting on you. So I'm just using a faster arm speed, but I'm still doing the same passes, uh, still doing a crosshatch patterning with overlapping. Um, same thing on this that I'm looking for is that 95% just like up on the hood, uh, you can't get it 100% without compromising your clear coat. So I always like to shoot for 95% as a lot of detailers do as well. Um, I just feel that that is the best spot and that is the most that you're going to get out of it. And we are definitely there with this personally. Um, while this is drying, because it does take just a little bit, we're going to go ahead, head over to the driver's door and we're going to tackle that big door ding slash scuff. So as you can see me in the reflection, we haven't done this door yet. Um, I got a couple drops on here. I'm gonna go ahead and just rub this onto the door. I'm not gonna do the whole door. Well, I am gonna do the whole door, but I'm gonna really show you this big scuff in it. Um, we'll see how it does with it. So I'm going to just basically take this, and we're just gonna do our two foot by two foot, which is gonna cover that. I'm just gonna get everything kind of rubbed in here, and then start paint correcting. <laughs> Okay, so we've got our section done. Um, like on the clear bra, we'll let this dry. We're gonna head back up front to the clear bra, see how it is, and see if we're ready to buff it off. So go ahead and do the uh, finger swipe test. It is getting really close, it's almost there. Um, we're gonna go ahead, for video purposes, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and just remove it. I still can't get over how easy this stuff is to remove, it comes off so easy. That is one of my many favorite things about this product so far is just how easy it is to remove because I've had some compounds that are, can just be an absolute nightmare to get off. You're coming in with a detail spray or some kind of a spray like that to basically moisten it up so you can get it <laughs> wiped off and this stuff just comes off super, super easy. We'll go ahead and pull our tape line up and we will come in for a closer look. But there is the tape line and I'm gonna bring you guys in closer, but as you can see, there is a difference in this clear bra, but I'll bring you guys in closer and we're gonna check this out. So like I was saying, there's the paint. Here's the line for the clear bra. Here's what we've done. And there is what we have not. So this works really good on this clear bra. As you can see, it, there's even water spotting in this clear bra. It's, it's really bad. This paint's been exposed to a lot of harsh elements. Um, but this Griot's Garage Fast Correcting Cream, as you can tell on the clear bra and on the paint, it is definitely knocking it out and making it look really, really good. And on that clear bra, that is a great result personally. Um, I think it looks a lot better. It doesn't look as bad as the other side over here. So definitely can use it on that, which is good to know for me personally. You do run into these. You do see them quite a bit. But now let's get back over to the driver's side door and check out that big old scuff mark on it. Okay, so here we are back at the driver's door. Do a swipe test and it is ready to come off. Right in here is where that big old door ding 
slash scuff was. So let's go ahead, wipe this off and see how it did. <laughs> oh, this stuff works so well and comes off. I know I keep saying it, but it just comes off so easy. It absolutely blows me away. Just the ease of use is just absolutely awesome. So we can still see some of the scuff. I'm gonna get you guys off of the tripod so we can see it, but look at the clarity in this. The clarity is absolutely astonishing. So the scuff, you can see is right here. You come on, and of course, it's, you're not gonna get it out 100%. And I told the customer that, and the customer does understand and know. Um, but it has come out because it was super long. It was taking up the whole door. We have shrunk that down to literally less than a quarter of its size. Um, that to me is really good. I'm really happy with the results on that. Can I keep working at it? Yes, I can. But do you want to compromise the clear coat? Because you are actually taking layers out of the clear coat. The clear coat's not that thick. Do you want to sit here and hammer at this to try to get it out 100%? Or would you rather just see the scuff a little bit? Personally, I'd rather see the scuff a little bit. It looks worse here in the garage than it actually does. Right there is pretty good. When you come head on, it looks way worse than it really does. So when we get it out in the sunlight, I will definitely show that as well. But I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get this whole car paint corrected so I can get it out in the light and show you guys. And then once we see it, I'm gonna go over my thoughts on this fast correcting cream. But as of right now, I am really liking it. Um, it's worked really good on the clear bra up front. It's done really good on the paint and on this scuff. So I want to keep using it. I want to get my full thoughts on it and that's what we're going to do. All right, so I've got it all paint corrected. It looks really good. Let's head outside and check it out. So here it is sitting on the driveway. As you can see, it is extremely shiny. Those are just little rock chips. But it has turned out really, really nice. And we'll come up here to the driver's door where that door ding was. You can see it was right there. And there's just a little bit left, but it is taken care of a lot of it, so that looks a lot better. Really, really happy with that. It just looks wet. It's very, very nice. Look at the reflection in the trunk there. Just like a mirror. Hopefully this wind isn't too loud. But I am super happy with how it has turned out so far. So now we've got the paint all protected. Sorry, not protected. We've got it all corrected. And now we need to add some protection on it. That's why I have still left the tape around the plastic. I just can't get over the reflection in this thing. Look at this clear bra. It blends right in with it as well. It works super, super good with that clear bra. So that is also good to note. But I am very pleased with the outcome of it. Let's get into my thoughts on the fast correcting cream from Griot's Garage. All right, so like I said, we're gonna get into my thoughts on this fast correcting cream, but if you've made it this far in the video, thank you very much, I really do appreciate it. Throw down in the comments that you've made it this far in the video, but if you have, I really appreciate your support. But this Griot's Garage fast correcting cream, um, I really do like this stuff. It is a really good, Correcting cream, it says for removal of severe paint defects. Um, there was definitely some severe paint defects, a lot of water etching, and a lot of scratches. Um, I would say that we have got this to, I would say personally 96, 97%. Um, with me, that I'm very happy with it considering the condition that this paint was in uh, before we started with it. One thing that I really, well, there's not one thing, a couple things that I really, really like about the fast correcting cream from Griot's Garage is. The work time, you have a lot of work time with this stuff. It doesn't start drying out with, sorry. 
it doesn't start drying out on you um, while you're buffing and working this stuff and correcting the paint i really like that um, you literally can get half of the car done and come back to the very front panel that you started on and it is just starting to dry which i love that you have that long of working time with it one thing that i did find out that i liked a little bit better is the working speeds are four to six for me personally six was my best for removing the defects and just getting the overall best results the other thing that i am really really happy with with this product is it almost looks like a finishing compound this is the fast correcting cream so this is literally the first step that you're going to use for severe paint defects this is not a finishing or just a correcting uh, this is basically what you would have as a heavy correcting and it has left the paint looking like I have gone over it with a finishing uh, like cream or polish and I have not it has finished out absolutely amazing it has gave really nice depth and clarity normally when you have a very uh, heavy correcting cream or polish it doesn't finish out that nice you don't have that high gloss level and this has that high gloss level and that is really really nice and i really do like that the other thing that's really nice is there's no added like polymers or fillers or anything in it so what you see is literally what you get that is the paint it hasn't filled scratches hasn't filled rock chips it has just corrected the paint so 100 percent what you see is what you got with the paint so i do like that because you do know exactly what it is it's not hiding defects and help correcting defects it's not doing two things like that it is just correcting and what you see is what you get and i absolutely like that a lot um, so this is definitely a two thumbs up product this is as of right now my favorite paint correction uh, this is a cream polish whatever you want to call it but this is my favorite uh fast correcting cream for doing paint corrections it's just super easy super user friendly it wipes off so easy and i just mentioned all the great benefits of this product i really can't say enough good things about it i do love this product hopefully you guys enjoyed this review i really appreciate you stopping in and checking it out like this video if you did subscribe if you haven't come join the mean b392 family i greatly appreciate all of my subscribers leave in the comments below what you thought of this video and i'll catch you all in the next one and until then take care Stop.